right, starting up round three. A little salty from that last match. <laughs> uh, I think we can keep this. It's we have a mechanic. If we can draw a swamp, this hand's great. If we can not draw a swamp, this hand is not going to get us very far very fast, but we did have plays, so I think it's a keep. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That will work. And now we're just looking for any land so we can get the Pioneer going. Dynavolt Tower. Cool. Swamp is good. Uh, we can... F oh, I can just fragmentize that. Uh, hmm. Actually... The Dynavolt Tower is kind of scary. But it's not activated yet. So let's do this and swing. Is that crazy? I don't think it is. I think this is going to take too much tower um, time to set up. The tower is pretty tough to get going. So I think if we get rid of this guy gate, we can just roll. Because uh, that's in the way of our pioneer. I like it. Yeah, I think they were counting on that to keep them safe. You're never safe. Are you going to counter this? That's cute. Oh, you're going to glimmer? Who cares? What else? Glimmer is a great card, but it's very, very slow here. So why don't we... This is five, right? Yeah. We're going to make a servo. Get in for three. Okay. Not a bad start. So... They get any energy, their tower is live. But I still think it was good to get this guy to get out of the way so we can really beat down. What's this? P foul? Yeah. Yeah. Yo. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I'd send that. I'm, t I'm sort of two for writing myself, but then... I know that's kind of a weird attack, but the Essence Extraction will finish off the p foul. So I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, wait. I was supposed to... Mechanic and then SS Destruction because we actually had enough land to do that. My B. I screwed up. That would have been more ideal to have another two drop down. Deadlock trap. That's just very slow. They're dirtling like crazy over there. Yeah, I was supposed to have another mechanic out. That was a mistake. Uh, all right. It's, everything's fine, though. But I should have been getting in for seven this turn instead of just five. So if that makes a difference, please feel free to yell at me in the chat. Oh, pressure point. Yuck. Okay. Their tower is now live. Ugh. Gross. No, I don't want to bounce anything because I want this to be able to attack next turn. That was a pretty strong turn, except for the deadlock tra trap is live too. But that... Mm. Okay, so this is just going to get tedious. Fabrication module. Fragmentize. Sure. Land, so we can get our master going. Cute. All right. So what I'm going to do is play the master out, make servos. Hope it doesn't get killed. 
bounce it with the mechanic next turn. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, and then replay it with uh, counters on it. Thriving Ibex. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I think I might as well. Because if we put the counters back on it, it's going to be tough to deal with, I think. I think. Uh oh. Acrobatic maneuver. Okay. 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 So now they're gonna kill my master in response? No! <sighs> yeah, real cute. Real cute. No. Dang it. Did I get greedy? I don't think so. But wow, look at that. Did you see that combo over there? That was, that was something. Prophetic Prism. I mean, maybe I was supposed to kill the tower with the Fragmentized in the beginning of the game. Because the Skygate wasn't doing much besides holding me up. Ooh, a Midnight Oil. Oh. Well, so if we swing with everybody, they block here and they take four. So I... Th oh, no. Well, that feels less good. So maybe we just don't attack. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm going to play the lands because Midnight Oil makes us discard and lose life. So let's just get that out now. Yeah, so they are uh, pretty much all in on that tower. They got a lot cooking over there. So we'll keep that in mind for the next game for sure. For sure, for sure. They can't really attack us. Oh. Nice. One, two, three. They can't tap anything down anymore? It's two, right? Oh, it's one. Hmm. This gets them within lethal range with the Screecher, right? So they block a 2-2, two, two, they take 4, they go to 3, yeah. Now, granted, I know they can tap it down with the trap, but not for very long. We can't kill that with timing, right? No, it's 5 damage. Let it go. Okay. Oh my. That is a 6 8 goat. Good god. That's another goat. Okay. All right. All right. They can kill the screecher or they can just tap it down. I'm going to take 6. We're at 23. Time, uh, well, you're not supposed to draw me two freaking car. Uh. Jesus, you're not supposed to draw two lands. They're at five. Okay, let's go to attacks. They're going to either kill the Screecher or tap it down. Right? Which is fine. Okay, they killed it. Sure. Okay, so then we don't have good attacks because they just take one. So now we are going to chump our mechanic to that big goat. Oh my. <laughs> this is a huge goat. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, my, 
I can. I can go right here. That's fine. I would actually like the Restoration gear Gearsmith would be nice right now. Minute will draw me to something good. Okay, those are fine. One, two, three, four. Uh, yes, yes, this is correct. A rush of vitality and a timing on the servo would... Wait, can they return now? They get an... Oh, they get an energy. No, it wouldn't kill the IMAX. So we have to just chill out. Oh, except for my max on my hand side is the one. Yeah, whatever they block, I'm going to put the rush on. I know this is crazy, but I don't want to have to discard. And maybe they just have six. We'll try this. <laughs> we'll just see. I mean, I know they can put a counter on re in response, but in case they missed it, I think it's worth trying. They didn't miss it. But Midnight Oil is, yeah, I'm, I'm fine to try that. The timing isn't really going to help us otherwise, I don't think. Maybe. Era of Innovation. Well, that's kind of bad. Oh. This will work. They're just dead, right? Sweet. Thanks, Midnight Oil. You drew me some chaos. I like it. I mean, they have one card in hand, so they might not necessarily be dead, but we go try. You dead a question mark? Please, please. Okay, got there. Game two. Do we want an extra fragmentized? Because they have a lot of fragmentized targets. And if so, what would we cut? I think we can cut patrol. I'm just not, I don't really dig them that much. They just have so many things that we can fragmentize. So I'm down for two. Let's try that. Midnight Oil OP. Love that card. It's like my favorite card. It's so good. Yeah, this is probably okay. I've kept a lot of two hand two land hands today, but you know, it is what it is. Hopefully we can draw some lands. <laughs> lands, please. Just one more would be great. If it's a swamp, I'll be very happy. Land, 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 land. Come on! We're playing seventeen! Don't do this to me. Okay, this is fine though. We at least have stuff to do. So if we can hit our land next turn, we'll be okay. Missing land drops, it does not feel good, but at least when you have a play, it's not the worst. Land, please. Land, please. Okay. That will work now. Do I want to warden their theorist? Do I want to set myself up for Inspire Charge? I think I want to warden their Theorist. I do. Because it lets us attack in with the Dund. And, uh, I mean, they're looking for specific cards to make their deck work. So I think getting the Theorist away from them is a good thing. We can send the Servo. Uh, they're just going to block it. They know we don't have anything. Do, 
Okay, so now we still want another land eventually. Okay, what's this? Oh, that's bad. Okay, well. Rush my daddy. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, we can send a servo and kill that with essence extraction if they block it. So let's try that. I think they, they fell for this once, so I think they're like, oh, I don't want to do that again. I don't care about your wall. That's fine. I'm going to get the Glint Sleeve Artisan out. Start to get ourselves set up for this Inspired Charge. I think we're in okay shape. Even, like, missing our land drops, I think we're all right. For sure. <laughs> Did you guys hear John talking to the dog? He just got home. Um, yeah, so I, I feel okay about this game. I think we're going to be A-okay. I like this card a lot, too. In this archetype, it only fits in a certain deck, but when you're go-wide, it's great. Go-wide against Thirtles, it's, it feels good. They have two cards. What you doing over there? If they do nothing else, they'll probably start putting counters on the sky gate, right? So they can at least block stuff. Okay. So... I think I just want to attack with the operative. I know we have Inspired Charge in our hand. I get that. But I think I want to set myself up to do that next turn since they have so much mana open. I'm afraid of like a counter or something. So let's just send this. Be a little bit um, conservative here. Play out the pillar bug. Crack the puzzle knot at the end of their turn. Or just rush that. Save it. Play a pillar bug. Are you going to counter that? Oh. Look at you. Whatever. I don't need the life. It's fine. I think that was still a fine play to do. One, two, three. Okay, everything's cool. Nobody worry. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought they should start doing. At least put the counters on that to block our little dubs. Little dubs. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are we inspired charging? So what would you do? Just play out the two dudes. Bounce the puzzle knot. Sure. Play out this guy. Pass the turn. Okie dokie, Smokey. They have a very dirtily deck. They're playing Dynavolt Tower. Which, we're playing two Fragmentizes when we haven't seen them yet. Swing, better, better. <laughs> All right. Why the heck not? Okay, so uh, one, two, three, four. We can give this. No, we shouldn't give it lifeline because I want to replay out the puzzle knot. I think we don't care about life for a twenty. Are they just dead? I think so. Unless they counter it. But what else? Charge! Oh, they're like, I want my theorist back. 
You ain't getting them back, buddy. No. No. <laughs> yes! Two packs never felt so good. Okay, so let's look at the deck for a second. The deck was pretty okay. It was, like, very mediocre, I think. Let's see. View your previous deck. Pack two, pick one. Chandra, I'm so sorry I couldn't make that work for you, girl. But, uh... Midnight Oil was an all-star. Marionette Master was an all-star. We didn't even see Gearsmith, did we? Maybe one time. It's fine. It's a very vanilla deck, but it's like it was missing removal, but it worked against turtle decks for sure. All right, kids, that's why you shouldn't turtle. Um, thank you so much for watching, and see you next week for Ether Revolt. Yay! Bye. Have a lovely day.